but you have your surface. So I have these put on already. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna scratch up the area. I'm gonna add my slip. And then I'll put this on. You should measure, so like this was too long for the what I created, so I'm just gonna cut that off. So you could do that too. And then I'm gonna gently push this on. And then you can also bend it and turn it whatever way you want. My last steps are, I'm gonna get my fingers with some water and I'm gonna run a wet hand over that seaweed and that'll smooth out all the seams and give it that nice soft look. And then I'll clean that up with a sponge. So it goes from this to this. So by now you know I like to add as much detail and dimension as possible. So after I scored and slipped these on and let this harden up a little bit, I wanted to add some dimension in that base. So I'm gonna come in with my ribbon tool and just carve some curvy lines to accentuate that seaweed. So I'm gonna follow where I scored and slipped, but then I'm also gonna create my own little lines. Remember, this will give a lot more dimension to your piece, especially when we get to glazing it. Then, so this is my base, but remember that other seaweed I made earlier, I wanna go ahead and attach that onto this. I'm gonna zoom out. So this piece of seaweed with the ripples and that is, is starting to harden up, but I can still kind of bend it a little bit without it cracking. This is what I wanna add around now in areas to really give this, this cup a lifelike feel. So wherever I'm adding, so if I like this piece kind of sitting like this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the areas where it touches the mug or cup. So it touches here and it touches down here. I'm gonna take that piece off. I'm gonna really scratch up that area. I'm gonna add my slip, however you have your slip in your bag, your tub. And then I'm gonna press that piece of seaweed back on. Um, I wanna press hard enough to make sure it's attached, but I don't wanna press so hard that I'm gonna break my my piece. So I'm going to push and make sure it's on. Now in there, you can see kind of the slip kind of ooze goos out. Um, there's a couple ways to fix that. For most of you, I'm going to suggest if you can get your finger in there, try to get your finger in there and smooth it. Or you get your wooden modeling tool. Um, I got it a little wet and then you can brush that and smooth that out that way. And a better approach is if you have a paintbrush, you can use the paintbrush and get in there also. So you can see I'm gonna get the paintbrush wet and then I'm gonna come in and gently brush. Wherever I attached and wherever I see any added slip. Something you have to be mindful of as you're working on your pieces now is that if you were to rest this on the table, you're going to flatten out your design. So you're going to have to keep the your, your sculptures, your cups, whatever in your hand, or you're going to have to sit them upright and then hold them um, as you're working.